Dinosaurs. You know what they are. The huge reptiles that went extinct long ago. Films like the Jurassic Park franchise have created a story where bright minds were able to bring back the dinosaurs from extinction. The question has to be asked, is that possible? That's the question we're going to be looking at today. But before I get started, if you enjoy learning about mysterious things and events, consider subscribing because that's what I cover here. Let's look at the example given in the original Jurassic Park film and see if it would work. In the film, they used the DNA from a mosquito that had bitten a dinosaur to recreate the creatures. In real life, there are mosquitoes and other insects that have been preserved from the correct time period. However, the connective tissues like blood were not preserved. So, in short, the mosquitoes preserved in amber would not work like in the movies, though there may be another way. But we need to acknowledge how unlikely it is for DNA to be preserved. There is much debate regarding how long it takes for DNA to fully degrade, but many believe it can last for a few million years before fully degrading. This is good. DNA can last for a long time, so it may be possible. The only problem is that the dinosaurs are believed to have gone extinct 65 million years ago. Also, the oldest DNA we have access to are small fragments of mitochondrial DNA from mammoths. These strands are only around 100,000 years old. There was a mosquito from approximately 45 million years ago, and a type of protein was found inside it. Again, there was no DNA, but they are still looking for viable samples of blood. Sadly, blood cells do not guarantee DNA. There were blood cells found in a dinosaur's bone, but no DNA was found in the nucleus of those cells. There are researchers who claim to have found dinosaur DNA, but many believe this claim is inaccurate. However, it may be possible since the sample is both calcified and fossilized. Let's say, hypothetically, that we found some of the genetic material that could be used to bring dinosaurs back. Due to DNA degradation, there would be some holes in the genome. In Jurassic Park, they simply filled those holes with frog DNA. It's now believed that birds or crocodiles would be better hosts of DNA, simply because they are dinosaurs themselves. Another factor to consider is that we currently do not have the technology to clone a creature with DNA alone. Things like sheep that are being cloned are through the cloning of entire cells, not just DNA. In a perfect world, even if we had all the materials we needed to clone the creature, there would still be complications. We are unsure of the sizes of the embryos and the environment in which they developed. The best solution is using test tubes, but again, there would be extensive trial and error in trying to figure everything out. Okay. So cloning a dinosaur with its DNA, probably not going to happen. But there is another, more realistic solution. Reverse engineering could be a very promising way to bring the dinosaurs back. Creatures like chickens could be reverse engineered to the point where they could grow teeth, and crocodiles could be turned into their ancestors. This is completely possible and could also be used to bring back species we made extinct, like the passenger pigeon. Since we have parts of the DNA from the mammoth, we could pair it with its closest relative, the elephant. The mammoth may not be too far from becoming a reality. Of course, dinosaurs from 60 million years ago, that would take a little bit more time. A glaring problem with this solution is the reason for doing so. Life on Earth has evolved to fill every possible niche that could support life. The Galapagos Islands are a perfect example of this. There are 13 different species of finches, all of which have different beak sizes and food types. Every possible variation of finch that could survive on the islands evolved to a point where it could do so. Reintroducing dinosaurs to Earth could be a huge mistake. All the niches are accounted for. Any place we put dinosaurs would mess with the location's ecosystem, potentially for the worse. Regardless of whether the dinosaurs deserve to go extinct, the world we live in now is not one designed to be shared with dinosaurs. For that reason, having them in the wild would be a bad idea, not only for us, but for countless species that we currently share the planet with. When dinosaurs were around, there were mammals alive, but they were mostly nocturnal. This would imply that the only way for the current species alive to naturally coexist with dinosaurs would be to hide from them. There are scientists today working on making dinosaur-like creatures that would function as domestic pets similar to dogs and cats. They are using a chicken as their template and modifying the DNA to better resemble ancient dinosaurs. Even though they would have completely different DNA from dinosaurs, I would be excited to see what they come up with. If we did bring true dinosaurs back, it would make sense to put them in their own ecosystem, similar to how they did in Jurassic Park. We can only wait and see what we decide to do when the time comes. And that's it. Do you think we will ever be able to bring dinosaurs back? Let me know in the comments and also make sure to subscribe if you want to learn more about mysterious things and events. See you next time.